In this video, I will tell you about dynamic input status bar option. So up to this point, we have been using command line for entering all of our inputs, whether it's the distance angle or the coordinates. But there is an alternate method of doing this and you can do that using the dynamic input, which is simply a small command line on your cursor. So here we have this dynamic input option on the command line and you can activate it by clicking on this option or you can also use a DIN mode system variable. So you can change the value of this DIN mode system variable to one in order to make it active. Now once this is active, go to any command and now click and now you'll find a slight difference. Now we have this cursor and along with the cursor, we have the command line input here. So the same input which is on command line can now be seen directly on the cursor. And along with that, we have a dynamic coordinate here. So you can see that this coordinate display changes according to the movement of cursor. Now let's click at any point in the drawing area. And now the cursor again changed and it's now reflecting a new value here. So now wherever possible, the cursor will show this distance value and also the angle value and as far as possible it will show other values also for example radius or the arc length depending upon the geometry so now let's say that in this case we want to make a line with length of 100 unit inclined to an angle of let's say 45 degrees so for that simply type 100 and now you'll notice that that value will be entered on the line field now simply press tab key and the distance will be logged and the input field will jump to this angle value. Now enter the angle which is 45 and press tab again. And here we have it. So now the geometry is logged to a distance of 100 unit and also to an angle of 45 degrees. Now press enter and the final geometry is here. So this is a little bit simple method of making the geometries which you can use obviously. And depending upon the geometry or your preferences, you can either prefer this method or the direct command input from the command line. So I'll now press escape key and I'll look at other options which are available with this dynamic input. So let's now move this geometry here and now I'll go to this polyline. Now I'll click at any point in the drawing area and look at the command line. So on the command line, we have some other subcommands or some extra options which are related with this command. For example, arc, half width, length, undo and width. Now these options are also available on the dynamic input and you can access these information or these options simply by pressing this down pointing arrow. So click on this down pointing arrow as mentioned on this tooltip also here. So click on it and now all those options are available as a list. Now you can simply keep pressing that down pointing arrow or you can also press the up arrow and choose the desired value. So I'll select this width option and now press enter. Now let's change the starting width to 10 unit and the end width to 10 unit again, press enter. And here we have it. So now you can see that we can apply the same value directly from the command line. So once again, let's change the width to zero. I'll select the width value enter zero as the starting width and ending width also as zero and press enter and we have the normal polyline here. So let's now join it with the starting point and press enter. When making drawings with this dynamic input, there might be situations when this would create a little bit of distraction for you. For example, in this case, let's say that we want to make a circle at this point, but we don't want this dynamic display to be visible at this drawing area so you can hide it also temporarily by using the f12 function key so press the f12 function key while your command is active and that option will hide temporarily and now you can enter the values if you want or you can again release the f12 key and enter the value for example here i'll enter 60 as the radius and the geometry so in this way you can use the dynamic input option for bringing your command line directly on the cursor. So that will decrease your dependency on the command line, but obviously it is not a replacement for your command line. Command line will be required for many other situations also, but you can use it wherever you find it most helpful. So I'll just click on this option once again to turn it off as I prefer working with the command line only.